We have some lost wildlife, don't we, Steve? Oh, yes. It's lost? A lot. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Where Nobody did it go? ever find it. What? That's yeah. sad. Basically, it's the pictures and videos of wildlife that we've gotten over the last year that we've never really used anywhere. We've never shared. They didn't fit in the story. Uh, we didn't think they were good enough at the time. Well, again, yeah. taking some time, looking back over, going, hmm. Oh, why so, didn't we share that? Or, yeah. or maybe we didn't have all our gear. <laughs> or, and it's like, oh, that's, that is very cool. Yep. Yeah, the last one you'll see. Uh, so we're gonna share the lost wildlife of Cattail Chronicles with you today. And uh, I, I hope you enjoy it. It's, it's pretty fun. Uh, we, like Steve was saying, we go up a lot like into Rocky and we're on a mission to do a particular thing, but oh, there's a wildlife encounter that lasts less than five yep. minutes. And it just doesn't work its way into the story and it's not a video on itself. So we have some really cool ones and some that just happened this last weekend that I really, really want to show you. It's so cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have a short list here. Steve, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Coyotes. Huh? Coyotes, Coyotes yeah. yeah. This is one of those cases we went up to Rocky Mountain National Park with uh, the intention of shooting, I don't know, whatever we were. Landscape, maybe? Landscape. Um, I don't remember either. Oh. Yeah, landscape. And so we were all set up for that. Drive in the park, first thing we see at... Uh, Sheep Lakes. Sheep Lakes is a coyote running across the field. Yeah, we come in the Fall River entrance. That's the first like major place you stop at. And off in the distance, I see a black spot running in the, in the field. And I had seen coyotes here before. And I was like, wait, what? And I get the binoculars out. Sure enough. There's a lone dark coyote just running out there in the middle of the day. It was, I guess it was late afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just one of those that we really wanted to go up in the mountains. We had an idea of what we wanted to photograph that day. But so we had time to stop. Yep. Yeah. Got some neat video. So. Yeah. You know, got some, I got some nice stills, but eh, not sharp enough to really it's take advantage of. Ready for it. Was, yeah. I was pushing. Yeah. Pushing the lens a little bit. The other thing we saw that very same day, on our way out of the park, we had put our cameras on the floor of the back seat, uh, you know, on the on the back, mm -hmm. and decided, okay, we're out, we're going, it's too dark, and we're on our way home. Then, <laughs> not too far from Sprague Lake, also in Rocky, there was a bunch of cars stopped. And we're like, huh, I wonder what that is. And we had just watched a wedding happen at the lake, and we thought, well, maybe it's just all the people leaving the wedding. Which is silly. Obviously, every time there's a bunch of cars stop, it's for wildlife. Especially when they're stopped in the middle of the road. In the middle of the road. <laughs> which you, you know, we try to warn you, don't ever do that. Unless the wildlife's actually in the road, which yeah. they were. Yep. And we saw... Two. Two giant bull moose. Moose, y'all. It was quite the sight. I'm like, what? And there happened to be a car pull off right there. Yep. So we're like trying to grab our cameras and stop the car and put it in park. And we didn't even have our coats on anymore. And the snow was up to here. But we got out and there was only like five cars that stopped. And literally they were walking in front of the cars in the road. One of the pictures and videos that you're, I'm sure you're seeing now is they walked right in front of like a squiggly road sign, you know, yellow sign. Well, that's not a very good picture, but it was a cool story. What was yep. the other cool thing about them? Well, once they'd gotten across the road and back down into a little swampy area, um, I don't know if they were basically siblings or something, but every so often they'd actually uh, duel or butt their uh, antlers together. So it was nothing, cool it, yeah, it was, it was cool sound. It was interesting to watch. It really wasn't aggressive. It was more kind of like, nah, let's just kind of make some noise or something, you know? So I don't know if it was siblings or, yeah, because they, they were traveling together. Yeah, it, they were kind of behind the willow. So it wasn't great photo ops, but it was a really cool experience that we got a little bit of filming um, photos for you. So yep. I thought that was really fun. Yes. Okay, what else did we lose in Rocky? Oh, um, oh, this wasn't in Rocky. This, okay, this next one, we have a little bit of footage and photos from. It was um, that hawk's nest at the sculpture garden. Ah. 
just a, a regular sculpted park right here in town. And mm -hmm. we were on a trail. And we happened to see a hawk swoop right over the trail. Yeah, and this, this trail was right, uh, right next to the restrooms and et cetera. Yeah. Maintenance shed. So lots of people were walking by, like anybody who came to the park would walk by this. Oh yeah. Yeah, and, and I think the only way we discovered it is uh, actually watching the hawk come flying in low along the path and then up into the tree, I think, if I remember correctly. Yes, and also it was attacking a great blue heron. Yes. A great blue heron was going from one pond to the other and the hawks were having none of it. Yep. And yeah. it just swooped over followed it. And it took a good chunk out of one of its wings, so. Yeah, Steve so got some pictures of that. That was amazing. And we meant to go back because that was early spring before there was leaves on the trees. And then we just never did. No. Because it was so obscured in there, even though it was right next to the trail, uh, we couldn't have got a picture. Mm, yeah. no, probably not. But when we saw it, they were building the nest. So they were going back and forth from tree to tree and all around the park, just gathering stuff for their nest. That was a cool experience. Cool. Yeah. yeah, but nothing that we had a full video on. Yeah, we'll probably end up going back in the spring, seeing if they come back again. Yeah, this one is back up in Rocky. We were out there filming a video for you about uh, the elk rut ah. this fall. And while we were waiting to film it, I can't remember why, we were having lunch or something. What kind of hawks were they again? I don't remember. We'll have to look at the pictures again. But we hmm. saw over this meadow that we were standing in, I think it was, was it Moraine Park or? Moraine Park. Yeah, um, two hawks or three, maybe there was three, just soaring around mm -hmm. and interacting. I don't really know what they were doing. <laughs> it was a, I, I think it was a mating. Was it? Stuff thing that was going on. There was a two hawks initially, and then a third came in and disappeared fairly quickly thereafter. So basically two hawks uh, interacting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like, it was cool. Like talon to talon for some of it. Yep. Um, and they're pretty high up in the sky. So again, we were really pushing these <laughs> lenses and cameras to get any kind of decent pictures. So they're not really great photos, but it was it's fun to look back on that and go, man, that's right. That was up mm -hmm. in Rocky. What a fun time. I, I don't remember now if I have video of that or just a lot of still. So um, you'll be seeing that as we talk. But I, I don't have a video of that. Oh my God. I don't remember. I, yeah. So. <laughs> but it, it was a surprising right, event. Right. Because yeah. what's odd to me is that we don't see nearly as many hawks in Rocky as we do in town. Yeah. Uh, I thought there'd be a lot more, you know, going after the um, squirrels and chipmunks and mice and voles and stuff. Um, no, we don't see them that often. Oh, here's another one up in Rocky. Also, about that same time this fall, uh, we were out. Uh, a little further down in Moraine Park, and we were watching the elk bugling. All the whole giant herd of elk is out there. And this was one of the times they were along the river right there. So pretty. And then before I knew it, and I'd never seen one of these up there, ever. Had you seen one of these? A great blue know. heron. Yeah. A great blue heron had been in the river, just down the bank, we couldn't see it suddenly took off and it was flying like pew, right over the elk. The elk <laughs> gave no cares. They didn't care. Mm -hmm. But this gray blue heron, and I didn't get video because what I was doing is I've got the Sony A1, so it's got like 30 frames per second. As I just followed it all the way across. So the video that you see of that great blue heron is just a bunch of photos put together. Because <laughs> that's, mm. you know, I just decided to do photos instead. Yeah. And part of it was I was just waiting for the heron to be at just the right spot over an elk. So you probably saw one of those if you saw that elk rut video, but, and we're like, wait, what's going on here? <laughs> but that's what it was. Mm -hmm. I had never seen a heron up there before. Yeah, I can't recall, yeah, maybe one or two at Sprague Lake eventually, but it, yeah, right? they're not very frequent. Not like you would see them down here in town. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was really, really cool. Oh my gosh. And the last one is the cutest one. This is so adorable. And oh. yes. And this was one of them that we just didn't have equipment with us. We were just out for ice cream. 
Yeah. And, but Steve brought his camera just to walk around with like the 50 and I had my phone and we were just hanging out when we were in Port Angeles, Washington, up in the Olympic Peninsula. Mm -hmm. So we did a couple other videos from up there. So one of those nights that we didn't go out and watch the sunset, we said, let's just go out and get some ice yeah. cream. Ice cream, go down and look at that, watch the, what's going on in the harbor. and uh, The wharf. In the wharf area, yeah. yeah. There's a, some stores right along the sound, uh, Puget Sound right there, or, you know, the Strait of Juan de Fuca. And so we were out there and it was getting late. It was getting darker. And I said, hey, look at that. What is that? <laughs> You're looking down into the water, just walk along the waterfront. And sure enough, it was... Otters. Yeah. A bunch of them. Mm -hmm. what, how many do you think there was? Five? I want to say there was five. That could be. You can count them in the video. Yeah. <laughs> so. But it was adorable because they they swam along and then they went to this dock area that was closed off. Like you couldn't use it anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't remember why. Maybe construction or something. And they were adorable. Okay. So this walkway, you can be up above the water and the other walkway was down at the water's edge. And so that's what they did, right? Yep. They climbed up onto the, the lower like dock. Little dock. Yeah. With all the big giant rope. And they played. Yeah, it was cool. Oh my gosh, on this little deck area. They just played and played and flopped around and got in the water and got back out. And what we decided was that there was an adult and four babies. This was in yeah. the summertime. They were just like playful, like you'd expect river otters to be. And we watched them and forever. And we were the only ones out there only yes. once and it was such a treat we didn't have big cameras with us steve just had his 50 on his so he's got some photos and i just have video from my phone but it was so adorable yeah oh my gosh and we were just out there basically until they swam away and it got too dark anyway mm -hmm. <laughs> even then i kind of waited like oh they gotta come back so cute yes mm. did you like it i liked it yeah even more funny was two photographers on the upper dock trying to get their cell phone and camera someplace where the fence wasn't so we'd get a clear shot. Yeah, yeah true. We were kind of hilarious too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so that is the lost wildlife of Cats yeah. Chronicles. Just a few examples. Uh, kind of a fun roundup for the end of the year for you. I hope you've had an amazing year. Hope you've enjoyed following along on our shenanigans here. <laughs> Cattail Chronicles, mm -hmm. Steve and I. Um, every once in a while, we run into one of you out in the wild and absolutely come up and say hi to us. Yeah. We love that. We want to meet you. We want to hear what you like to photograph and your gear and all the things. So definitely come say hi mm -hmm. uh, if you want a little bit more behind the scenes with us we have a join button here on youtube now it's only three bucks a month helps us with coffee and gas to get to all these adventures and you get to see a little bit more of what we do and what we're going to do yeah we have coming down down the pike if you yeah will. yeah so often this video will film today and you won't see for a few weeks but uh, i will take some behind the scenes and share that in the members area or a variety of other things so mm -hmm. there you go Yep. That's the last wildlife. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Yay. Yay. Okay, bye. You gotta be dramatic. <laughs> dramatic walk-off, Steve. Ooh. <laughs>